So we have wilted spinach with cumin. These are mashed potato balls stuffed with uh, vegetables and spices. And then we have our moros y cristianos, which is the beans and rice dish uh, with an autumnal twist. For this recipe, you will need about six medium-sized potatoes. So what we're going to do is going to peel the skins off and chop them up into little cubes, and then we'll stick them in the pan and boil them up. All right, now I'm going to pop these potatoes on. Um, put them on high heat until they reach a uh, boiling point, um, and then we'll turn it down to simmer for, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes. Right, now we're going to prepare the filling to go inside of the potato. Traditionally, it is beef mixed with uh, vegetables and herbs and spices. So we're just going to substitute the meat for mushrooms. So we're going to chop up very, very finely. Uh, and with the mushrooms, because there's a lot of liquid inside, um, what we're going to do is put them in a sieve and let them just sit and drain for a short while. So we'll do the peppers first. And again. So just push the liquid out of the peppers uh, by pressing down put on the bit of back of a spoon or spatula or anything and just kind of try and get all the liquid, as much liquid out as you can. Uh, very finely chopped there. Um, they look really nice and colourful I think. I'm just going to pop this one aside. We'll make a start on the mushrooms. Okay, so the goal is here to chop the mushrooms to roughly the same size as your um, as your peppers. So we just want to slice them. Um, so they're small, but remember these will go mushy. So um, so it's not as essential that they're as small, but obviously it's, it's desirable. So we're gonna squeeze these peppers one last time, um, and then. We shall mix them together with the mushrooms um, and then we shall start frying them without oil. <laughs> Save the water from the pepper um, because it will give some flavour to the, uh, the beans and rice dish. Peppers in the bowl. Um, and then we'll mix in the mushrooms, chopped mushrooms with a bit of extra water in there. Okay. okay, then you should find that your potatoes are done. So we're just going to uh, drain them. Um, just drain the potatoes and then we shall mash them in a few minutes. Right, first off, we're going to add one teaspoon of uh, cumin seed. And we're just going to let these toast by themselves first. Uh, to really bring out the flavours and the aromas. Okay, now it's important to keep the cumin seeds moving um, so they don't get burnt and stick to the bottom of the pan, um, especially because there's no oil. Um, okay, so now they're toasted after I think it was about uh, kind of three, three or four minutes. I'm just going to add in the mushrooms and peppers. First we're going to add one teaspoon of oregano, add one teaspoon, one generous teaspoon of paprika, followed by one teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, so now we're just going to stir that all in um, and smell the beautiful aroma. Turn the heat off. Um, now this has been cooking for approximately, uh, do you know, I guess about five, five minutes. Um, obviously we want as much of the liquid to evaporate as possible. So I'm gonna leave it off, turn the heat off, but I'm gonna keep, keep it moving around uh, and letting it, letting the liquid evaporate. Okay, now I've removed them from the heat and I'm gonna put them back in the bowl and we're gonna let them cool down completely. So we want them to be nice and cold before we start handling them and stuffing the potato. Mm. Oh, I wish you could smell this, it's amazing. Oh. Okay, so we're going to add our uh, boiled potato to a new big bowl. And then, ooh, now we're going to mash it. 
Merci de me. Um, now, we don't want any lumps, so uh, do with that information as you will. <laughs> and I'm gonna mash away and let my arm have a good workout. Okay, now the potato is all mashed up and I'm gonna leave this to cool down completely as well. Um, and then we will still start rolling it on. Okay, now is a good time to sort out our squash. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the tops off and scoop out the insides and then we shall bake them in a baking sheet, <laughs> a baking tray with about a quarter of an inch of water in the bottom. So now is a good time to preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius. <laughs> okay. So we'll start one at a time. Um, and I find from experience now, <laughs> it's best to try and cut the hole as wide as possible, um, rather than kind of going for a small lid to lift off. So here goes. If anybody wants to share a good technique with me, that would be much appreciated. Ooh. Now alternatively, you can just chop it in half this way and bake it that way. <laughs> bake it in, in half, but I thought it would be fun to, to serve uh, the dish inside the pumpkin. Okay, so I'm making some progress. Stabbing and pulling it out. Ta-da! Now I also didn't, well I can just cut through this bit a little bit and then we'll scoop out the inside. So here it goes. Okay, now look. Okay, so here we are. I can cut the tops off and scoop them out. Um, and I don't know if on the inside you can see, uh, but I've cut some kind of crisscross uh, patterns inside it, and it should help it kind of. Uh, roast more evenly, I believe. So we're going to sit it in the uh, the tray of water, a quarter of an inch of water, uh, and we're just going to put them into bake for approximately one hour, uh, one hour to one hour and fifteen minutes. I completely forgot we're going to squirt the juice of half a lime into um, our peppers and mushrooms. So. Okay, so now we're going to start making our potato balls. Um, now we want to make sure that they all come out roughly the same size, so I'm going to use a quarter cup measuring cup um, to scoop out the potato and then I'll, I'll show you the rest. So do you want to see how to make them? So you squish down your piece of uh, mashed potato and obviously it's in a round shape anyway from the cup but to be honest, I found now that it doesn't really matter <laughs> that it's round. I think it's more important, personally, that it's oval. Now, I've found I'm a terrible masher and there's many lumps, so it is crucial to take them out because otherwise it, I found it starts to, it's easier for them to split open when you put the fillings in and then it makes it all messy, which again isn't a problem because nothing has to be perfect. <laughs> okay, so we've flattened it out, we've made a little dip in the bottom where we are placing our fillings. Um, now I'm kind of being braver and putting more and more in. Um, so I'm kind of working my way up. Um, I'm going to kind of make sure the edges are kind of nice and thin as well so they can... Uh, can you see? Here we are, come closer. Get the bowl now. Okay. So we're going to fold the edges over the top this way. Now I've been making them into kind of like little mini pasties. Um, I find that's an easy way to seal them up. And then just kind of rolling them around in my hands. Squidging them together. Making them into a nice little ball. There we are. And I think the beauty of uh, working with mashed potato rather than a dough is that you I don't think that you can overwork it. 
Um, and if there's a gap that you need to fill, it's another lump. <laughs> if there's a gap that you need to fill, then you can just use more mashed potato. And it is not a problem. <laughs> so I'm going to pop these in the fridge for um, for as long as possible, really. I mean, ideally, they should have been in there for at least an hour. Too much of the water in the bottom of the pan. What I love about this dish is that it's just a one pot dish, so basically you bung everything in it and and it does the work for you. <laughs> now that it's hot, we're gonna add the pepper. I'm going to add now uh, one generous teaspoon of oregano and keep it moving again uh, and I'm going to add the leftover mixture from the potato filling because it's got a nice flavour and it complements it well. Okay after only about um, do three or four minutes um, we're just sort of yeah it's time to get it cooking we're going to add uh, four cups of water um, which I prepared earlier, um, and it's also got some of the, the pepper juice in earlier so it doesn't go to waste. So we're going to pour that in. Fantastic. And give it a stir. Okay, we're going to add our beans now as well, which I prepared earlier. Um, now, traditionally, black beans are used, but um, I just like to adapt the recipe and use what's easier to find. So we're going to add two and a half cups of white long grain rice. Um, now I'm using jasmine rice here because it's really good. Okay, that's two and a half cups in there now. We're going to give it all a good stir. We want to keep the heat on something quite high um, so until the water starts to boil. And then uh, yeah, we're going to put the lid on to make it quicker. Okay, so first of all we're going to put our, um, our potato balls in the oven. I'm going to put those in there now. And now this has reached the boil, I'm going to turn the temperature down to sort of mid, high medium, medium high. <laughs> rice has absorbed all of the water so I'm just letting it sit with the lid on for a short while. Um, I'm just toasting up some more cumin seeds and those are pretty well toasted. Okay, so we're going to add in, add in spinach. Oops. Carefully. Okay, I'm going to turn the temperature right down to its lowest setting. Just pop the lid on, let it steam for a second. The potatoes are coming along nicely. Okay, now I'm going to add a splash of um, it's actually sushi vinegar just to kind of raise the acidity to kind of give the illusion of that there's some salt in there. And then give it a big stir. Oh, I'm trying not to flick it everywhere. into the squash. Okay now we've squished the lid back on. I'm just gonna put it back in the oven for a few minutes just to warm up or warm up the squash again. Yeah you can see that the spinach has reduced to not a lot at all so I'm just gonna pour it through the sieve and remove all of the liquid and then it's ready to go on the plate. You can see that these didn't really stay as balls, but I think they look really, really, really good. They're kind of like scones almost. So let me know how you got on in the comment section below, and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, um, and be sure to subscribe. Have a fantastic day and enjoy whatever you're having for dinner.